Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 10 of Farming Valley. And in today's episode, we're going to go check out um, the spawning area. We're going to get on the horse and ride for a little bit. And then we're probably going to come back here and see what buildings we can build and um, pick one out. I don't know. Something like that. So anyway, let's let's go... Let's go check out our little horse over here. Oh, look! <laughs> I've been through a couple of days and, and harvested several times already, and these sweet potatoes, man, they're ready again. Check it out. There we go. I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> I thought that they would just be there. Uh, so let's just go ahead and grab these, throw them in so we don't forget about them. It's still a little bit dark out there. I hear a mob. Yeah, there's a zombo over there. He's gonna burn up. Hi, bud! How's it going? He's a googly-eyed zombie. Let's just get these taters and go throw them in and we'll get on our trusty steed and take a ride. Uh, it was a really interesting spawn. Um, it was a totally different biome. Uh, one that I'd never seen before. It was pretty cool. So we're going to go check that out. Look at all these that just fell out. Awesome. Okay. And it shouldn't take too long to get over there and get back, so I should have hopefully plenty of time to to water the crops. And if it's dark, then, you know, at least I got the... Um, why did I... Oh man, I didn't mean to sleep. I wanted to turn in the crops and I hadn't watered. I hope I didn't lose any of them. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, I better water now. That's got me uh, paranoid. Got the path laid out and I got this um, enclosed. So if we do get back a little bit late, it should be all right. Look at this wheat. It's growing. It's coming together. It's amazing. I did some, a little bit of um, tweaking on my settings, so hopefully uh, it won't be, you know, it won't be too bad. Uh, it seems to be running a whole lot better while I'm recording, so I'm really happy about that. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Okay. So, we got all our... can't believe I slept. That's okay. That's okay. Let's come over here. We'll go ahead and water these while we're at it. <laughs> I'm just worried that since I didn't... since I slept and I hadn't watered them, I don't I want to make sure that I don't lose these crops. Uh, I think I went through like two, two harvests. Um, they were about eight grand each and I went over and fed the chickens and sold a couple of eggs. Uh oh. Need some more water anyway. <laughs> When you get so hungry watering the crops. Okay. We're gonna have to get some food too. Um I really need to, to get this this area down here just cleaned up and get get everything moved over to the house area organized and whatnot. And then I will be happy. Alright, let's just grab some of these. I just grab four, that way I don't have to 
take up a bunch of room all the time. All right. Let's get on our little horsey. Take him out for a spin. Horse! We're going off. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to do that. There we go. Oh, and I put... He's not very fast, but you know. What are you gonna do? Uh, I put the goddess pond up here with a little hill and I, I think it looks really good up here. I like it. So, um, where are we going? We want to just go over here to the east and this is where I spawned. It's very interesting biome. I think it was like, um, oh man, I can't remember what it was called. And I've played with biomes of plenty, some, but I've never seen this biome before. Here it is, right here. Um, it's not a plain, it's like a meadow or something, I think. Uh, it's so green, it's beautiful. Uh oh. It's beautiful. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, I love it. Uh, I almost settled here, but uh, there were some things that uh, I didn't. I, I wanted a more level area to build in, and it's it's pretty hilly over here. There's some interesting structures here, like this tower. There's a couple of spawners in there. We could probably uh, take advantage of sometime, and it's not too far away. And here's the little uh, thing. See how I, I almost uh, I almost started here. Let's go check it out. There's some bees. Oh, <laughs> my cat. She's very upset. Uh, I'll put in a little entrance here and cut this off. Yeah, there there were villagers in here. Um. A, a bed. I took a bed. Mr. Brady. They they sell stuff and whatnot. Lord Jen, Esmeralda, Bobin Nahab. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, this was pretty cool. I I did spend the night and a couple of nights here and decided that I didn't like it. Uh, because it's so hilly and I wanted to be able to sprawl out and uh, build everything. I, I left the gold because I don't think I could uh, harvest it yet. And I put the fire out so the villagers wouldn't burn themselves and stuff. So yeah. That's where I spawned. I love this. Uh, oh, it's a grassland, not a meadow. But it's a beautiful, beautiful color green. I love it. But it just wasn't flat enough. Oh, and I found the the bushes, and those are easy to uh, locate once you you get the, the map going. Um, if you see these yellow spots right here are the bushes. Uh, I was able to locate them fairly easily and find the three different <coughs> bushes that I needed. And that was pretty awesome. That looks like a lava spill over there. Uh, yeah, there's just not a very big area <laughs> to to build in. So I, I was really happy with this area. It's a little, it's not like 100% level, but it's more level. And I can, you know, build some of the buildings and spread out. And I like it. So, yeah. We're going to head back. And oh, maybe I'll kill this little piggy over here need me some uh, is this a weapon to yes Boom. I don't know if that counts towards the experience of it but we need some piggy meat piggies piggy 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 boink oh yeah I am really um I'm really, really happy with the performance right now. Um, Given some really good frame rates. And <laughs> that is good. That is really good. Okay, so let's go back and let's look at... Um, I would 
I would really um I know I can survive eating those the just the the pork and the berries, but I would really like to not have to uh eat you know twelve times <laughs> all at once just to fill up my hunger um so I definitely think we should prioritize the cafe just to get some uh some different food types coming in. Definitely be nice. Yeah, I love that, that green. It's just amazing. Uh, it's not too bad here. It's sort of a... Mm, I don't know. It is autumn over here too, so the green's kind of muted. But that grassland was just... Oh, it's so beautiful. Uh, but that's where it started. <laughs> I, had, uh, I love how this area is coming together. Uh, it's looking really nice. I got the little roadway up there. All right, let's put Horsey up. Boink. Um, I find it's uh, easy. You can get out. Oh, dude. I think I don't even have a gate in here. <laughs> so you just have to. Uh, there we go. We got out. Get some zombo flesh. Awesome. Okay. Let's go check out Ulith. Oh, I wonder is he gonna be open? Ulith, be open. Yes! <laughs> Ulith is definitely open. 16k. That would leave us a little bit. Uh, although we do have another... Um, We have another set of crops in there to sell. Oh, 200 wood and 110 stone. Hmm. I don't think I have that much wood and I know I probably don't have enough stone. That's like, um, it's all not quite two stacks. Let's go check it out over here. Oh, well, I almost have two stacks. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and start cooking that up. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure I don't have the wood, though. Wasn't it like 200? That's gonna be like, uh, not quite four stacks. Oh, he's closed now. Rubble, rubble, rubble. <laughs> um, we have two stacks of wood plus a partial. Um, all right, all right, all right. Okay, well... It shouldn't take too long. Let's put this meat up. Oh, wrong. Yeah, I think in between this episode and next, I'm going to try to get all of this stuff moved over to the house and maybe maybe finish off the house. Uh, hopefully. There we go. Um, boop -a doop -a doop Go ahead and nibble a little bit. Sorry if you can hear the traffic. Uh, I had the window open. It's a nice day out. Uh, some fresh air. The cats jump up on my desk and look out the window. <laughs> Wishing they were outside. I have one cat. One cat goes outside. She's been with us a while though. Nine years. She's uh she knows she knows where home is. The the new cats though, I'm not quite sure that you know, they'll stick around. Uh well I don't know, not that they'll they won't stick around. I'm just more worried that they'll go go out in the road and and get run over or something. Cause, uh They're, they're young. They're just like a year old, so... 
Yeah, oh look, there's an Enderman. Oh man. I guess I... Um, I know that, like, uh, in Botania, you need to get uh, Ender Pearls for certain advancements. Um, or diamonds. So... And plus, I'm I'm just gonna need I'm gonna need some some stone. Just oh man, here I am running off with the watering can. Let's put that back up. Yep. Um, completely forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> Ran off with the watering can, and yeah, it doesn't take much to derail me, I guess. Uh, all right, let's just get these watered, and uh, it's not Ulif isn't open yet anyway, and we don't have the things needed. Two hundred wood, maybe uh, we'll check him out. And and maybe just since we need a lot of wood, I don't know that uh, I can get as enough wood harvesting all the trees that are up right now. Uh, so maybe we'll look at building the the fishing hole instead. There we go. Uh, throw this in here and we still need to eat uh, get some pork I would really like that cafe uh, eating like <laughs> eating this much it's for the boids and I forgot I can eat a pork now mm. <laughs> Not quite sure what the recipes are, but I know that they, I know they have recipes. Um, let's shop. Okay, the fishing hole only takes 16 wood and 3k. And look, that uh, our other harvest went through, and I'm pointing at the screen. And I know you can't see that. We got 26,000 gold pieces. Woohoo! That's amazing. Uh, so we definitely are gonna have the money for the cafe which uh, if we uh, yeah we should be able to get that built before um, before autumn ends um, I'm trying to think we should we should it's only day 12 in autumn and these sweet potatoes uh, they they don't get destroyed so I don't have to replant them I don't have any more cost other than building buildings for the rest of autumn but when winter comes we're not going to be able to plant anything and we won't have any money coming in so we'll have to make sure that we do set aside money uh, for crops come springtime um, but I'm hoping that uh, we're, we're still going to get like probably another four or so harvests from the sweet potatoes alone. And then we have that whole other field that has all the wheat in it too. So I'm hoping we'll have enough, uh, enough money to get that cafe and not have to, to worry about it. But for today, I think we're going to go ahead... We're going to buy the fishing hole, and in between episodes, I'll do some chopping of the trees and uh, probably some more harvest, and we'll get that cafe built next episode, hopefully. <laughs> so let's just buy the fishing hole uh, for now, and let's... Oh, look, that's not too big. I bet that, that might fit. That might fit over here. Um... Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, I think we we'll definitely want it up. Up one like this. Look at that. Uh, 
Yeah, like, uh, I wish I could go back a little bit. Hmm. Maybe if I... Oh, it's got a... L yeah, I want it over here, but up here. I think I might have to, like, temporarily... I don't have any blocks on me. I might have to temporarily place a block. Maybe... We'll put two down to see if that helps. Oh yeah, yeah, that's perfect. That's what I want right there. That is exactly what I want. Let's look. Uh, although some of these look like they're flowers, like it's supposed to be on land. Not sure how that's gonna work out. And I really don't know. The only way you can get rid of these is if you have it like too deep right there. You can't actually break those, uh, which kind of stinks, but you know, and that's just too many of them. If we were only like one or two, then it would be different, but yeah. Anyway, let's build this. Come on, you lift. And we'll go ahead and. I'm trying to level up this axe. I, I want to. I'm curious to what it does when, when it, uh, when you can level it up to copper. If there's a special ability or something like, like the axe. I mean the hammer or the watering can. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Hey, you love going for a swim. What are you doing? He's doing something. Oh, he's uh. Replacing the water or the blocks in the pond with sand. I see that now. And there's a little bit of land he's placing down. I guess that's where the flowers go. That's awesome. I wonder if he would have placed the water down too. Oh, I bet if I took that up and replaced it with sand, because I don't want it to be too deep, because then squids will spawn all over the place and it's annoying. Um, maybe if I were to, you know, uh, replace the dirt with sand, that would get rid of those and it wouldn't have to be too deep. What are you doing over here? You got rid of the water. Huh. It's pretty. Oh look, that it's got like little roots hanging down on that. That is awesome. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so we got the fishing hole. I don't think this really does anything besides you know looks cool. I'm not a hundred percent certain about that. <laughs> Yeah, probably could have moved it back a little bit, but I like it. <clears throat> Maybe we can just go ahead and fill in this part back here. Or not. Maybe we'll just leave it. But this is bugging me. This is bugging me right here. Ulif, what are you doing? Why can't I jump up? No! There we go. And that one filled in. There. Okay, well we have the fishing the fishing hole is completed. Looks pretty groovy. Um Oh yeah, we were supposed to I don't think he's open. No, he doesn't open until tomorrow. Uh, really wanted you to see what he was selling, but what are you gonna do? Anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and call it here. Uh, next episode, we're gonna try and get that cafe built. Uh, we should have plenty of money. 
and I'll probably run through a couple of days harvesting trees, watering the crops, uh, maybe even feed the chickens <laughs> a couple of times or something, I don't know. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about the the new um, map. I really like it. I like it a lot better than the... Um, oh, I don't even know what kind of biome that was. I think it was an oasis. Sort of like a transition area between desert and, um, you know, a grassy area with, with trees sort of blending sand and grass together. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, thank you for watching and bye-bye.